hear you here. Let me hear you here. Hey guys, it is Hannah Simone here. We're going to be talking with members, newcomers, guests, people who have come today to worship with us. The Holy Spirit moved in this atmosphere like never before. The prophet was in another realm. Our spirits was high. And today's topic was killing the spirit of bitterness within and without. Come, walk with me while I go talk to others. Okay, Brother Andrew, you know today the atmosphere was filled. The Holy Spirit was moving in the atmosphere like never before. Now, how does it feel? You you know, you play a key role. You are on the keys, on the keyboard, and you know, you help invite the Holy Spirit here. So now I wanted to ask you, how did you feel about today? Uh, it was definitely a blessed service. Um, knowing this, the atmosphere that was around, I made sure I um, performed very well so that this, you know, to help, how do I say, keep the atmosphere alive, you know. Um, being an instrumentalist definitely plays a key role. If I mess up on my part, it affects the whole congregation as a whole. So we just want to make sure that that's my job. I make sure that uh, I enjoyed the service myself. Even while I was playing, there, I was even feeling the spirit back there. So um, it was definitely a best service. Thank you so much. Now the three days revival is coming up. My time has come. Is do, have you? Do you believe this is your season? Absolutely, absolutely. Now can you let the viewers know that your time has come? My time has come, and yours will come too. Amen. Thank you, brother Andrew. We are here with Brother Vincent. How you doing, sir? Great, I'm doing great. Today, the atmosphere was overflown with grace. How do you feel? It was great, wonderful. The blessing of God just keep flowing. And everything that I prayed for, exactly what prophet come with today. Yes, and may God come to bless him and bless this ministry that we continue to go forward. This is wonderful. Right now, we are in the season of my time has come and we have declared this week a time for prayer for prophetic impact the revival is coming up what are you looking forward to i'm looking forward to see great things happen to see souls win for the kingdom of god you know and this is my time so i'm a warrior i'm ready for it for us to plunder hell and populate heaven amen amen can you tell them my time has come my time have come and your time have come to plunder hell and populate heaven. Bless you. Amen. Hello, Mr. Friday. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. The pastor called you out today, and we just wanted to know, how did you feel about that? How, how was the prophetic impact upon your life in that moment? Yeah, I feel excited because uh, actually I was trying to go to Nigeria again. My father is a reverend doctor. All what he does is ministry. He was a good friend to the prophet. He was a man. I lost my dad, I think, uh, last year. Then my uncle died like two two weeks after. He went for my death. He went for his elder brother funeral. So at least we we'll take glory and we we'll think everything gonna be going good. So I thank God for today for what it does in my life. And pray everything is gonna be well with me. Amen. Everything will be well with you, sir. I'm here with Mr. Eric. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Um, today the prophet called you out, and you know it was a, it, you know the, the the prophetic antennas didn't even realize that your he called your mother out last week and asked to see you, and he didn't know you were the son. Now, when you came out, how did you feel? What did you receive? What was the prophetic impact in your life? Was there a movement where you connected to this ministry in that very moment? Yeah, I felt pretty connected. Like, um, I know my mother felt a very strong connection to him, and when he called me out, like, all randomly, I was like, oh, man, this must be pretty legit and serious. Like, uh, I was, like, pretty much mystified by what was going on, and he was giving off a really good ministry like and I like what he was saying, telling us about grief and like grudges like and bitterness like like I took that really to heart okay yeah. like um like it was just a very good service was amazing wasn't it great talking to them we are just a few days left 
until my time has come. Three days revival. And we need you to share, tell a friend, tell a family that their time has come. Starting March 25th to the 27th here at Word of Life Bible Ministry. You see, it's like everybody felt the impact of today. Now we want to make sure that that spirit is high throughout this whole week, through this revival. And we need you to be there. God bless you. And again, it is Hannah Simone.